Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS4 channel. In this video, I would like to show you how to make a connection between the uh, pgAdmin PostgreSQL PostGIS database within the QGIS. In the previous video, I show you how to create a one database here. Actually, I name it as a test underline project and I already installed the extension post, post keys. And in the previous video, I show you how to do this. So right now we would like to uh, make this connection between this database. If I just show here, taking the database name and connect it, and you know the owner is the Postgres, and we would like to connect it to the QGIS. So let's go to the QGIS. So after opening your QGIS file, I already added one in shapefile as a sample. And after that, I will show you how to import this shapefile into the database. So first of all, you must come here, right click the new connection. And so it, you will define the name like a test. And after that, the service, we do not need any service here, but the host, it will be local host and the port number, what if you define for your installation and the database. So I already take it as a test project and you shouldn't touch and the basic information, the username, the owner, post, press, and the, the password, what you define for your local database. So here you see some option here only show layer in the layer registered or some other, but I would like to recommend you please consider also list a table with no geometry. So it means if you do not have any information with the, with the special data, if you have some, some uh, table in it and after that you can call it from your database. So test connection. So it means everything is okay. And if I just, okay, you see right now test has been added. So Right now, I would like to add uh, this shape file, import this shape file into the database. So you must go here, database management manager, and after that coming here. So uh, take your database, import layer. So where we would like to add it here, import layer. So this is the name of the shape file. And uh, here we define one, just one schema. And after that uh, table, and you, you can you have this option to define some primary key geometry column and for example if the source uh, coordinate system is like this and you would like to change it in another one or some encoding if you have for example if you are working with the german data what kind of encoding uh, system you must use and actually you you can find the tutorial in the qgis part and if i just okay so uh, import was successful and we can check it how was that and if I just update here refresh you see this data has been added and if I just click right now if I go here in the properties you see this is a shape file and if I just go here the, the properties you see it's coming from this database and it has it must have same show feature count 42 and same 42 here so let's uh, check our job here inside the PG admin. So if I come to the test project and you see schemas, you know, the German pronunciation, I use uh, schemas, schemas here. And if you just come to the tables, you see the table here and uh, you can see the all rows here. How is the data? So it seems everything is okay. We have the attribute table same and we have the 42 rows and if i come here in the geometry and you can see the geometries that you have so it seems everything is uh, perfect so from now if you change something in the attribute tables in the columns if you go to and changing something or creating the new column it will be updated automatically into your layer inside the QGIS because the QGIS, uh, the, uh, the layers are the post GIS layer and they are connected to each other I hope you are enjoyed from this video and in the next video I would like to show you how to work with this data inside the database. So thank you very much for watching us and see you soon.